Okay, update on, on this uh, collet nut fitting issue here. You can see I recently ordered five 930 kV motors uh, for a new 450 class quadcopter that I'm building. You can see that with the 1800 kV, it came with the collet nut actually it's being too narrow. You know, like there's, you have to push down on this one and it's very firm as it goes down along the shaft. This one, watch, it's just, it's like it's pre already pushed in and it just bump and it doesn't go down. It doesn't, doesn't tighten as it goes down on it, you know, on the 1800 kV, which I ordered uh, a while back. And now you can see like with the, the nine, I have with the proper, with the 930 kV. It's stiff right at the top, so you really have to push and force it on so that it'll grip on, you know? I'm hoping Banggood will actually replace this for me. Not the motor, I like the motor, but this, I just need a new one of these. This is part two of my little video on this uh, Colette and shaft. It, am I calling it, I, I still don't know if I'm right in saying that that's a Colette, uh, that little thing there, where it actually comes down and actually sits on the shaft. Um, all puns to the side. So, <laughs> basically, uh, okay, so you saw in the previous part of this video that, uh, that 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 was already very loose. The ring just, look, you can see it even there, it's really loose on it, like, you know, it goes up and down really loosely because that there, that part there, uh, the clampy part, the, the sectional clampy part is, was already seemed to be very narrow um, so that came with this motor, um, just to let Banggood know that because I'm going to ask them to actually send me on a separate one of those. I tightened it, one of these, um, as you see, basically I just go in and I grab the, grab it and I just kind of like tighten it like that, you know, just lift that up. Of course that is still very loose there, you can see that that is going up and down really loosely. Um, it has a bit of a grip on it. Not much of one. I mean, you can see it with a bit of with a bit of pressure. It starts to loosen up and starts to turn. Does anybody else fly their motors like that? I don't know. You know, I mean, I've never. This is my first time attaching a motor to a wing, um, or even using one of these non um, self lock self locking uh, type um, motors and propellers. Uh, is can you get away with that being a little bit loose? Um, even if you just squeeze that really tight and make sure that that grip is tighter, it still has some give. I think the motor will spin it, but um, I mean it's just not, you know, fail safe tight as tight as my quadcopter is with the with the self locking nuts um, in the propeller tip. So anybody give me any help on that? Uh, from especially from the rag the nuts off group. This has been diving straight up. All help is appreciated. Mistakes, misfits. Problems solved. Any help that can be spread around is always good. All right, everybody. Thank you. Talk to you again. Bye.